Hello everybody, I'm Rogue Time Pokemon A once again with some more Yakuza Like a Dragon. And yeah, we're back into the main story. After a uh, very weird side quest episode where my en <laughs> where the editor definitely uh, gave me some lip. You charge five million yen just to start a lease? And then it's 500k every month? Even on Soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee 20 million? Then a million a month? What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Mm. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the Excellent Course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise mm. me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, You've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. But I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. And here I thought you were just a huge asshole. Yeah, the two ain't mutually exclusive in this case. Now. She might be putting herself in danger. But if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely something shady here. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe she still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. There are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an mm. establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. That's, you know, in all honesty, that's true for most corpor corporations now. Like, pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. Mm. It's just mm -hmm. so cruel. Welcome to life, baby. It's cruel and it'll leave you to the wayside if you don't got a plan. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? And by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn, at that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen. That's even worse. What's that? Depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who are paid up, I don't understand how they get away with this shit. Money. Money more more than likely. Please. 
none of us needs to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad. Boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but... I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh, huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to oh. Place by getting jobs? oh, that's smart. That's actually smart. I mean, former well, nurse. Sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. I mean, yes. former nurse, security I'll guard. I'll call Kambe and make it happen. I think we can do this. We can save Nanoha's father. Well, ain't that nice. All right. Tell work we go, and I'm gonna be honest. I'm feeling lazy. And if you're wondering how I got so much money, please watch the subquest episode. It was weird. It was scarring. The editor could tell you so much. He probably just did. And uh, it was a very, uh, yeah, it was an interesting time is all I need to say. Temporary boost evasion, defense. Ooh, that one's expensive though. Um, hmm. I'll buy three of these. Correct. Hmm. All right. Uh, who do we need to talk? Oh, middle guy. Hello. Forgot what you looked like for a second there. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can't invent it. Yeah, that's fair. Where the hell did it work? Here. Damn. Dang. Okay, well, direct entry. Ooh. Hmm. Former nurse. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. He basically got it bagged. Let's see, yep. Man, these people. Yeah. Oh yeah, get into the security room. Get get into like the cameras and stuff. Maybe see what they do. Oh yeah, that's pretty fair in all honesty. Like, Kasuga, what's up? Like, uh, Xerak is, a as well. Hmm. Okay, what did they got? Alright. <laughs> Alright, so what, huh, what's Ichi then? Hmm. Let's see, nurse. I can't really predict it. Are you new? Yeah, I'm from a temp agency. Name's Nanba. How nice to have a new doctor. Wonderful. Actually, I'm a nursing assistant. And just temporarily. You say you do physical therapy? <laughs> Sounds fun. Um, listen, Old Greg, people. Let me ask <laughs> Am I right? You, there's a guy living here named Bukoda. You know him by any chance? He's pretty old. Has a daughter. Oh. What time are we having breakfast? Oh. Uh, well, it's already past noon. Oh, here is fine. Thank you, officer. Hey, did you find anything <laughs> out? Hey. I haven't seen any guys who were likely to be Nanoha's dad. I gotta say, the care in this place actually seems pretty damn good. There's plenty of staff. Their medical equipment is top-notch. Uh, they've got a security system, and guards, too. They ain't skimping on safety. 
How many times do I have to tell you? Wait. Oh, toilet's so clean, you let your mother drink out of them. Oh, no. He's a janitor, isn't he? Respect to them, but... Why am I the only one on toilet duty? I don't know, man. Why, Why are you a janitor? You're not qualified to do anything else. Did you find her dad? Nah, not even a lead. You find anything? The only thing I've seen all morning is toilets. That woman's a slave driver. Maybe her dad's in a special room for the excellent course residents. Oh yeah, that crazy expensive program. Doubtful. Hmm. I found out more about that program. It has super strict requirements. I don't think she would have met them. For example, you have to do a bunch of interviews to qualify. Interviews? Yeah, I don't know exactly what they ask, but I bet it's all about your family and social standing. Rumor has it, program only lets in big shots from the financial sector. So, even if she had the money, I don't think she would pass the interviews. Still, mm. none of us have seen this special room yet, right? <sighs> it's no, definitely interesting. People with a that? lot of money getting Obviously, into that room in particular. On the excellent course residents. I mm. heard only full-time staff are allowed to work with that clientele. But where the hell are those residents kept? Top floor. And to get up there... You need one of the full timers key cards. Hey! Mm. Quit chatting and get back to work. I mean, I guess it yeah, makes right sense, away. but hmm. At the same time, something feels off. Good work. Bet you didn't know toilet cleaning could take up a whole day, did you? So many toilets. <laughs> He's about as scarred for life as we are now. You're gonna have to pick up the pace tomorrow. Hmm. All right. We still need to do the top floor, don't we? That floor is for excellent course residents. It's uh off limits to us contractors. All right. Hmm. All right. Uh Oh, damn it. I, I think I forgot something in the bathroom. Mind if I go get it? Fine, hmm. but get it together. You're a mess. I'm so sorry. Uh, you can go on ahead and I'll catch up, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up. Hmm. Nice one, man. Huh. But they all the way to the top floor, huh? Thought they would need some keys or something, even for the evac room. Though I guess it makes I guess they have to have some regulations. Hmm. Guess even for something this sketch, they would have to have some regulations. That seems pretty small, in all honesty. What? Panic? What? No need to be scared, ma'am. Just relax. Oh, I don't like that voice. I think... Oh, lord. That man looks like a serial killer, and I don't like it. Looks like a serial killer. Sounds like a serial killer. Be over soon. Good night now. Uh, oh. Oh, I think I know what they do. I think I... Oh, I think I know what they do to the oldies now. What the hell? You said it, man. Okay, so it's murder. Yeah, okay, I think I know know what they're doing. They're murdering them, not telling them that they've been murdered, and are essentially taking... and are taking okay. their money. Okay.
Hold on. What was that? Oh no. I think we know what's happening. Yeah, I think they all caught on. Okay, I have a theory. Okay, I'm not going to start for that. I think I remember what's going on. So, I uh, just kind of came to me. And I'll, st I'll say it for you. Well, I guess it doesn't... Yeah, they kill their own customers. Or, sorry. Unalive. I'm sorry. I had to go past the YouTube censors. And uh, no. like and comment if you hate them as well. And... There it is. They try and get money out of them. Yo. Makes a lot of sense. <sighs> oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, God. I th so. Looks like we're in a bit of a bind now. That's messed up. Oh. I see. Okay, yeah, what's a full house bonus? Everybody gets a bonus, and if everyone gets a bonus, everyone from the lease goes home happy. Well, the going rate is about 3,000 yen. I mean, we're not exactly risking our lives here, let's be honest. You know what? Where? Yeah, where? Oh, drinking. <sighs> fine, fine, fine. Uh, you know, it's a bar. We can have a good time. We can have our best time. All right. Let's uh, go. Well, I do need weapons, and, uh... Well, it's probably not what they're meant to be used for. For... 
Well, what I think would be obvious reasons. I mean, you think about it. Uh, Japan is, uh, I mean, y'all call Americans, uh, I'm gonna shut up now because I'm not sure where else to take this. All I can say is this, love hotels. <laughs> That's a pretty good looking bar. This the place you're a regular at? Yep. Cool. It's just you. <laughs> yeah, such great customer service, huh? No wonder this place is always empty. This place? I only run it for fun. Kind of prefer it empty, in fact. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey there, Dachi-san. Hey, you're all out, John. Who are your Not friends? bad. Some guests of mine. Kasuga and Namba. They're hey. here to pay off your tab? You never bring anyone with you. In fact, is this a first? Uh, I guess it is, <laughs> now that you mention it. That must mean you actually like them, huh? Hell no. You wouldn't catch me hanging with these knuckleheads unless I had to. <laughs> you're so cute when you're embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> give me a break. Anyway, listen. I've got a request. Hang on. Let me guess. You want me to add their drinks on your tab. <laughs> oh, you know me so well. Ah, uh, yes, the usual know, bartender. I promise I'll make them come back as paying customers. Oh, good grief. You really an ex-cop? <sighs> you win this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, let's get to drinking. All right, cheapest stuff you got since all of us are broke. The carry up <laughs> survive has become a new hangout spot. Yeah, it's because we're all just surviving here, man. What's up with Namba? We barely get started and he passes out. Guess he's a lightweight. He's probably just tired. Can't blame him after everything we did today. Tomorrow's only going to be worse. Well, you know, for some reason, being around you makes it feel like. It'll work itself out. Oh, yeah? You must be pretty wasted if you're handing out compliments. But I'll take it. <laughs> I'm barely even feeling a buzz. Oh, he's drunk, all right. Drunk on the rush of a hot and steamy friendship. <laughs> Never say that again. <laughs> that was two feet over the line, and you know it. Don't poke an old bear. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, even Adachi agrees. Like, come on. Yeah, it's good that y'all are. <laughs> it's a good thing y'all are friends. And hey, wait, I'm totally gonna Listen. talk to. It says you, your tab doesn't exactly look like you keep going. <laughs> I throw... Oh, that's. Oh, we can. Okay, drink links. Yo, well, let's start a link. What's that you're drinking? <laughs> hey, keep it down, will ya? Why? Oh. Is that convenience store sake? Shh, you don't have to announce it to everyone and their mother. <laughs> you your own drink to a bar? That's a little sad, yeah, my yeah. guy. It cost an arm and a leg to get a good buzz going here. That's why I got this little lovely at a store down the street. <laughs> you ought to do the same. Show your wallet some tender love and care. <laughs> I'd rather... Yeah, but I mean, I promise uh, a good drink's worth a little debt. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna. Uh, I, I'm. I am going to become a moonshiner. Yeah, wine from grapes, sake from rice, sochu from grains. Shit's practically free if you make it yourself. <laughs> Great idea, but that's illegal. The government cannot control my addiction. Grapes and rice. I just go to the bar and order a drink. Ah, uh, you know that's a good point. <laughs> Okay. Drinks on me then, Adachi san. Really? Thanks. Hey, we got our charisma leveled up. Er, close to leveling up. Speaking of money, what they did to you was fucked up, man. 
discharge right before your retirement? Ah, it ain't so bad. At least I get to know I was canned for sticking it to fucking Horonouchi. In my opinion, that's better than just staying on the force and turning a blind eye. Well, let me see if I remember this correctly. You and Horinouchi first crossed paths during a case 20 years ago. Yeah, it was a nasty one. Robbery, a double homicide of some sweet old couple. My team found a suspect and made an arrest. Man by the name of Kasumi. He had a mile-long rap sheet, burglaries and shit. Plus, he had no alibi for the time of the murder. But in the end, he was innocent. Yeah. Hmm. I finally figured that out from his son. His son? Kasumi his son? had a wife and kid. The kid was five years old at the time. His name was Takashi. The little guy told us he'd been on a walk with his dad at the time the homicides were committed. Of course, there's always a chance that the relatives will lie in the hope of saving their family. So HQ was prepared to ignore Takashi's testimony. And I was too at first. But the more time that passed, my thoughts kept coming back around to what the little boy said. And even after Kasumi was arrested, I kept looking into it. I finally found the owner of a cigarette shop. He told me he saw Kasumi walking with Takashi at the time of the crime. Takashi's testimony was legit all along. I contacted HQ right away and requested Kasumi's release. But Horonouchi made sure it never happened. And he was able to do that because he was top dog at the Kanagawa police back then, right? Yeah. And don't forget, he'd just been offered a job with the Tokyo police, so... He was desperate to cover up any recent blunders like a wrongful arrest. He shipped poor Kasumi off to prison, knowing full well the man was innocent. And next thing I know, Kasumi's killed himself in his cell. So Horinouchi was willing to sacrifice people's lives just to advance his own career. I'm starting to understand why you got so much beef with him. Uh, I got beef with myself, too. I'm partly responsible for what happened. If only I believed Takashi's testimony from the start, the arrest wouldn't have happened in the first place. You don't know that for sure. No one else believed the testimony either. Yeah, but I'm the one who interviewed the kid. Let me tell you. Even after all this time, I still can't forget his face. Man, but couldn't you have just leaked the fact the charges were false? You know, to the news? I gotta and guess who pays them off? For Takashi -kun, right? <laughs> well, you're not as dumb as you look, Kasuga. That's exactly what I thought at the time. But I screwed it up. Didn't choose the right people to leak to, so... I got swept off to the license center faster than the leak got swept under the rug. Worst fuck up of my life. Don't be so hard on yourself, Adachi san. Sorry. Really killed the mood, didn't I? And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why if you have a whistle if you're playing the whistle blow on an illegal practice, make sure you leak it anonymously and refuse any in-person interviews. Well, all I know and family a like you on the force with me my life might have turned out different ah but if the cops were anything like me this whole country would be fucked sideways by now <laughs> at least he's self-aware can't argue with that i mean hey, at least you're supposed to agree with that <laughs> come on you got <laughs> come on on you if you, you don't mind fine <laughs> hey bartender can we get another round all right, arm, another arm and a leg. He suddenly can't walk or punch. <laughs> Grow stronger. That's you will now gain more experience when he's not. Oh, so we're going to gain like more than four party members. At least I assume. Well, about that time, I guess. Ah, leaving already? Sorry, Iroha-chan. We got a big day tomorrow. Yo, Namba, you gonna crash on the bar or you wanna head back? <laughs> I like the vibe of this place though. Me coming back is another thing you can count on. Sure, make yourself at home. <laughs> no yeah, I do like jazz. jazz. And listen, it's Take funky. Sorry? Let's just say he's not usually a happy drunk. <laughs> I guess that means he has a soft spot for you guys. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know the guy. 
He's a good for nothing, but he's good at heart too. So keep your friends close, you hear? I can do deal. That. Hey, Kasuga. What's the hold up? Let's go. Oh, sorry. Well, see you later. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. All right. Yeah, we'll head out there in the next episode. Bye bye.